Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Kenya and today I will be giving you a tour of my dental school sim lab. But I thought it would be fun for any pre-dentals out there to see what sim lab looks like in a dental school. I go to Dugotney School of Dentistry here in San Francisco. I remember when I toured dental schools during interviews, this was the most exciting part. And I came in to clean my station a little bit just so that everything is organized and ready to go for when the quarter starts. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you around first. Okay, so usually we come in through these elevators and then there's two ways that you can go to SimLab. This is the way to the right. We have our student store here. This is where we buy tea or any other materials that we need. To the right, we have some classrooms over there and there's also some study rooms. And then through here to the left is where you can come in to SimLab and then there's another entrance to the left and that's usually where I go through because my station is on that side but we'll go in through here to show you how it looks from over here so as you can see it's pretty big there's a total of about 145 of us over here we have the anatomy lab um, here is where we do hands-on there's cadavers in there and then we have our practicals there and then we have these little boxes here for grading um, when we turn in our like let's say we had a filling or like a crown prep we turn them in on a little a little cart that goes around and collects them and then when they're done grading they put them in these boxes and then there's just numbers. It's supposed to be like anonymous grading so that there's like no preference or anything. We pick up our grades here. We did our gingerbread houses before break and I guess they're still here. So we're a class of about 145 I think and they separate us by pods and each pod has a number. The number is like right there. And in each pod, there's usually 18 students, I think. At least that's how many there are in my pod. So on this side, they have this view, which is kind of nice. It keeps it bright up in here. Get some sun when we're here in SimLab all day. So this is pod 3A. And yeah, so this is how the pods look. We each have a station, and then there's some with two people and then there's some with just one. And then in each pod, there's usually two instructors, um, but sometimes there's one. I think they try their best to give us two instructors. And then this is pod 2C, and this is my pod. My desk is over here. There's still Christmas decorations. So we decorated for Christmas. We put these lights up, but I think it's time to take them away. Uh, so I'm gonna open up the windows. This is our view and I like to think that we have the best view. Get to see the sunset a little bit um, right here and it looks really pretty. So yeah. So this is my station. So as I mentioned earlier, we like to decorate. So I'm just gonna be removing these decorations um, because the holidays are over. I stash things here, as you can see. Um, let me show you what I have here. So these were the burrs that I need to buy. I buy these at the store that I showed you guys earlier. This is what one of our grading sheets looked like. This was for wax up number three. They always give us this in advance just so we can know um, how they grade everything. And if we have anything here, it's fine. But if we have just one over here or one over here, then we practically fail the practical. And even if you have like all ideal and then just one, that's all you need to fail. Um, and then we usually have a student side and a faculty side. And then so we grade ourselves first when we turn it in and then the faculty grades us. 
this is for another wax up practical and this is just the color scheme of how we're supposed to wax up a tooth and then this is just trash and so this is how our desk look like from this side now I'm going to show you our storage spaces. It's a mess as you can see, but that's why I'm here today. I'll show you as I clean the stuff that I have. And then I like to write here all the measurements that I need for each tooth. So those, that's what these little sticky notes are. This one. I have more supplies. This is more like my filling drawer. So like my rubber dam. We use this for fillings as well. This is my curing light. I keep it without the battery because the battery drains. Um, more stuff in the rubber dam. In here, I have extra masks and just more stuff here. And then over here is the biggest compartment. So this is for my loops. I have a model here. Um, I have some real teeth here that we're going to use in the future to practice. And then just more supplies. This is kind of organized here, so I might not have to clean around here that much. Um, but just a bunch of materials. And then this is my patient, which I named Benito. I'm going to clean that up because, as you can see, it gets pretty dirty really fast. So I'm going to clean this up and then put it away. Then we have a little bit more storage back here. This is to wax. And then we have a couple more things here. And then these are my teeth. I have one box for new teeth. And then this is my box with my prepped teeth. I know I have a bunch of loose teeth in my storage over there, so I'm going to keep this out so that I can rearrange them. So first I'm going to clean my desk area because I'm going to be taking stuff out from the storage. I bought some forex wipes. Although I think they did a deep clean when we were on break. They did send us an email that they were going to do that, but just in case doesn't hurt to clean a little bit more. I also bought these little boxes. If you saw my last video, I unboxed them. So I'm gonna use these for homework teeth because sometimes um, they leave us homework and I just put it here in my little storage randomly. Um, because I can't put it in my new teeth because it's not new or my prep teeth because that's like when I'm done when they graded it So I'm gonna use these to keep track and then we have two classes that we have homework in We have indirect and direct and it's different types of things that we do one is more like crown preps and the other one is more like fillings So yeah, this should help keep me organized with that here in sim lab three days of the week on tuesdays we have dental anatomy on wednesdays we have indirect on thursdays we have direct what goes in here are typodonts this is called a typodont and so we have one for each class and then i store them in here and then here are the screws for the teeth if you need to change out the teeth you just unscrew it and then put a new one in and screw it back in and then this is what a wax up looks like, this tooth right here. I think that was one of our last um, dental anatomy practicals from last, um, last quarter. So I just want to have a new teeth in here, change it up, and so it's ready to go for next quarter. And then if you're curious, this is what 
the wax looks like and we have three different colors and then in these boxes I have all of my um, kind of the instruments that I use on a daily and then there we have another um, two more of these where there's even more instruments But these I don't use too often, so I just keep these stored. So yeah, I'm just gonna be cleaning here. I also have this little pouch um, where I keep my handpiece, a pencil, just stuff that I use more on the regular, so I could just take this out. I found some teeth as well. There's actually a bunch of teeth in here. And then last quarter we learned how to do amalgam fillings which are silver fillings and they come in this little thing and then we just to open it we just break this first we have to put it in this little machine that it'll shake it really fast for a couple seconds and then we break this apart and then it'll kind of be like a little clay silver ball and then we just pack it in there but now most dentists don't really use silver fillings as much we mostly do um, just the composite ones, which are uh, tooth colored fillings. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up here a little bit and I'll show you how it looks all organized. All right, I am done cleaning out everything and reorganizing. I cleaned my mannequin here. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna make sure that everything locked up before we leave this is my most used area so this was the one that I was most um, worried about that I needed to clean up but everything is pretty much organized now I put my sticky notes like this instead it looks a little bit cleaner that way we are all done here that was it for this video everything is organized and we're ready to go for this upcoming week for the winter quarter to start um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time Bye.